in all that is done in the universe, the divine through his Shakti is behind all action, but he is veiled by his Yoga Maya and works through the ego of the Jiva in the lower nature. In yoga also, it is the Divine who is the Sadaka and the Sadhana. It is His Shakti with Her light, power, knowledge, consciousness, Ananda, acting upon the Adhara. And when it is open to Her, pouring into it, with these divine forces that make the sadhana possible. But so long as the lower nature is active, the personal effort of the sadhaka remains necessary. The personal effort required is a triple labor of aspiration rejection and surrender. An aspiration vigilant, constant, unceasing. The mind's will, the heart's seeking, the ascent of the vital being, the will to open and make plastic the physical consciousness and nature. Rejection of the movements of the lower nature. Rejection of the mind's ideas, opinions, preferences, habits, constructions, so that the true knowledge may find free room in a silent mind. Rejection of the vital nature's desires, demands, cravings, sensations, passions, selfishness, pride, arrogance, lust, greed, jealousy, envy, hostility to the truth, so that the true power and joy may pour from above into a calm, large, strong, and consecrated vital being. Rejection of the physical nature's stupidity, doubt, disbelief, obscurity, obstinacy, pettiness, laziness, unwillingness to change, tamas, so that the true stability of light, power, ananda, may establish itself in a body growing always more divine. Surrender of oneself and all one is and has, and every plane of the consciousness and every movement to the divine and the Shakti. In proportion as the surrender and self-consecration progress, the sadhaka becomes conscious of the divine shakti doing the sadhana, pouring into him more and more of herself, founding in him the freedom and perfection of the divine nature. 
the more this conscious process replaces his own effort, the more rapid and true becomes his progress. But it cannot completely replace the necessity of personal effort until the surrender and consecration are pure and complete from top to bottom. Note that a tamasic surrender refusing to fulfill the conditions and calling on God to do everything and save one all the trouble and struggle is a deception and does not lead to freedom and perfection. 